So if you just picked up one of these EC meters like I did, and you're wondering if it needs a calibration, it does not according to the instructions. And if you want to verify it, we can uh, do that because I'm going to be doing mine. You just need the uh, EC or the uh, 1413 US calibration solution. And you can fill this thing up about halfway in order to do so. Now, just a word of caution here, personal protective equipment, whatever you feel like you need to wear or whatever you think you should wear, uh, you should do that. Okay, so according to the instructions, we just have to turn this thing on. And put it to US. And we should read. First, we'll shake off the probe because I did have it in water. Then we will read, and it should be 1413 or close to. 1421. That's pretty dang close. Fourteen thirty-two. So for just for the sake of calibrating it, I'm going to calibrate it here so you guys can see that as well. Push and hold. Calibrate. Fourteen thirteen is there. And want to stabilize, push the calibration button. And that is done. And according to the calibration, we need to do this a second time. So we're going to push and hold that again. And we've got a smiley face. Push, and there's our calibration. And for the last one, if we want to do a three-point, we're going to take out our other test solution, which is this guy. That is the 12.88 MS CM. And we'll do the same thing. All right, so we're gonna take that out. Gonna rinse that off in water. And then we're gonna shake that off. Now we're going to use this solution. And that should give us 12.88. We are going to push and hold the calibration. And I'm going to swish it around in there a little bit just to kind of make sure it's all around. I'm going to wait for a smiley face. Then we're going to push calibrate. And I got a 12.88 there. If we want that, we can verify just by giving this thing a rinse. And 14.12. I think that's a winner. Now keep in mind too, uh, this solution doesn't have to be discarded. We can use this five times. So what I'm gonna do is just put a little piece of masking tape on there and mark it every time I use that solution. Pretty happy to get both of those meters set up and running into uh, the grow room here. It's gonna be for more consistent results and more accurate testing. So I'm pretty stoked about that.